when I was a little boy, 15 years of age, six months, six months, a little Jewish boy, 15 years of age, six months out of a Jewish Orthodox orphanage, when God picked me up from the earth and he brought me into heaven. He called me when he brought me the message of salvation out of the Jewish Orthodox orphanage. He called me to preach. I told him no. I said, I'll love you. I said, I'll serve you. But I said, I will not be a preacher. Then God picked me up six months after I came out of the Jewish Orthodox orphanage. He picked me up translated my spirit into the heavens. And there appeared before me in the clouds about the height of a figure of a man six feet tall, three and four times as broad as a human being. It had no physical features. It was a flame of brightness. It shone like a million moons and suns and stars all rolled up into one. I can't tell you the whole story because it would take too long. But there, the presence of God drew me and brought me right to its side. A little Jewish boy. And God's presence moved one step away from me and up there in the sky where the presence of God was standing was two footprints and God allowed my eyes to see through those footprints into a manifestation of hell. And when I saw and heard the cries of the unsaved and the lost and the damned and the backslider, when I heard that, took my feet and I put them into those footprints when I was 15 years of age. God asked me for my life. I gave it to him. By a supernatural sign, the sky was filled with millions of people as far as the human eye could see. The glory of God shone like rays over the heads of those people. And God's voice spoke out of that manifestation of his glory. And God said to me, son, don't be afraid. You're not going to stand in the place that you've made for yourself. But he said, you'll stand in the place that I the Lord your God had made for you. And he said, my glory shall surround you. And when you see my glory over the midst of my people, then know that I am there to show myself strong in behalf of them that love me. A Jew marks by a sign. One of my staff members asked me a couple of weeks ago, they said, Brother Shula, you should be retiring now. I said, when God asked me for my life. He didn't ask for 10 years. He didn't ask for 20. He didn't ask for 30. He asked me for my life when I was 15 years of age and I stood as close to him as you could touch out and reach my flesh. I gave him my 